Hello and happy Monday everyone, or happy whatever day it is you have to be watching. It is super shiny out here, but it is not snowing, it's not raining, we got some sunshine. So I'm going to take this chance to go out and get some chores that have been kind of hanging in the balance recently. So let's beat this wind and get some stuff done, shall we? Of all the things I've needed to do, I've been putting off anything related to being outside the most. We got a delivery of chicken feed that's been waiting patiently to get put where they need to go for almost two weeks. Uh, but with the copious amounts of snow, rain, and wind we've gotten recently, it was kind of dangerous to be outside. But with the last few days of bright sunshine, I can't really hide my procrastination behind the weather any longer. The biggest hurdle I've been forced to jump is the frozen solid snowdrift in my garden. It's completely snowed in one gate and is an icy slip and slide if you go through the other gate. This makes carrying 50 pound bags of feed super dangerous. Great news, I can slide them down the snow ramp. And because I'm nervous of falling and hurting myself, I also slide down the ramp. Something else I've been putting off because of the cold is collecting the water buckets from the chicken coop. I can't use the regular waterer because it freezes shut and then I can't get into it. Using buckets to water the chickens just becomes easier this time of year because they don't freeze shut. Um, the problem with this is I have been leaving them in the coop, so now I'm out of empty buckets. Before I can grab those buckets though, I've learned that I function best if I complete one task at a time, so I'm tossing the feedbacks in their spot first. And since I'm out here, I'm taking food and water to the chickens. Okay, I had to take these lovely buckets to the barn. I had actually started moving buckets out of the coop a couple days ago, then I'd been distracted by something, so I'm back to finish the job, finally. pleased with the amount I brought them, so I guess I'm getting them more. <laughs> I was hoping to do some repairs to the fence and bird netting while I was in the coop, but everything is so slick still, and the soles of my boots have completely detached themselves from the rest of the shoe, so I figured it was best not to push my luck and just to wait until everything's melted off a little more. The one silver lining of all of this is they started laying eggs again, so I'll get some out of it, right? And here's the start of the ice castle I'm building from emptying all the water buckets. And we had completely run out of wood that we'd brought in previously to feed Calcifer, so I decided it was probably a good idea to bring in some more loads, and the dogs decided they would help as well. 
Calcifer is our wood stove that we use as a secondary heat source during the winter. We have awesome friends that gave us all the wood we have now after they switched to a pellet stove, and it's been a big help to lower our winter heating bills. And besides, who doesn't love a toasty fire on a snowy winter night? I think that's enough outside activity for me for today. It is still incredibly cold out here, even though it is technically warmer than it had been. Uh, we're getting a lot of wind now, less precipitation, more wind, which, oh well, it's just what happens. Um, I had been hoping to get into the garden space to do some measuring out there so I could start planning for raised beds and in-ground beds, but that's just not gonna happen with the that snow drift completely frozen over in there right now. Not gonna happen. Don't mind the dogs. Um, so I guess, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please give me a like, give me a comment, subscribe, just let me know. Um, you can go check out my Instagram, my TikTok, you can read my blog if you'd like, and with that, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!